Michael Bay, this summer, direct Transformers 4, Battle of the Product Placements. Uh, I mean, Age of Extinction. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. What is up, Humanoid Nation? I'm reviewing Transformers 4. Don't mind me, I have the FIFA World Cup in the background. It's Chile vs. Brazil. Come on. I gotta cheer for my home team of Chile. Of course, it is Brazil They're in their backyard playing, so this is gonna be a really intense game. But anyway, enough stalling. Transformers 4. Way kind of better than the last one. Okay, let's get this straight. Transformers 1 was awesome. Come on, it was the first one. It had its moments. 2 was meh. 3 was god awful. 4 kind of. Yeah, 4? <laughs> Made up for like the last one. With less comedy sidekicks. Thank god TJ Miller just fucking died in that movie. I swear, the moment he got disintegrated in that one scene, the entire audience in my theater were saying, Thank you, God! Even I thought that T.J. Miller's character was just goddamn annoying. And plus, it's T.J. Miller! Come on! So, Mark Wahlberg is the center human character in this movie. I didn't mind him at all, because at least Mark Wahlberg actually did something in this movie. Unlike Shia LaBeouf, who was just there all the time and was barely doing anything, just running away and screaming Optimus half the time. Mark Wahlberg actually went into battle, fucking carried a goddamn gun, and actually shot people. I mean, Transformers, robots, whatever. Point is, he actually did something. He had a purpose. His daughter Tessa was fucking useless. Uh, yeah, she was fucking useless. The boyfriend, whatever the fuck his name was. My god, was he ever useless. What I find funny about this guy is the guy started out with an Irish accent in the beginning, and during the end of it, he just gave up and said fuck it and started talking in an American accent. Yeah, Michael Bay. Kind of lazy there. Oh, yeah. Michael Bay was right in his interview. Haters are going to hate, but they're still going to watch the movie anyway, which is so true. Cause I'm picking on it, but yet I still went to go see it. Michael Bay just grabs you by the balls like that. And I'm gonna see the Turtles movie anyway, so yeah. The guy was absolutely right. Haters are gonna hate. You, every hater watched this movie anyway. Cause you know you'll watch it. I swear, this movie has more product placement than Man of Steel. Subtle, Michael Bay, very subtle. And what I mean by that is like, straight in your face product placement. Oh, Bud Light, Victoria's Secret. Especially the Bud Light one, because that one just like, was the funniest one there. It's like, fucking missile is like, going straight into the city or whatever that scene was. And then slow-mo and a Bud Light truck just drives by slowly with the logo Bud Light. And you think that would be it, because they blow up the Bud Light truck. But no, Mark Wahlberg crashes into some guy, and there's Bud Light cans everywhere. More commercial. And you think that would be over, but the guy, the, he's getting into a fight with the guy, and all of a sudden he goes and picks up a goddamn Bud Light. Turn into a freaking commercial. And while that's going on, you see a Goodyear sign in the background. So two commercials in the same shot. Yeah. Victoria's Secret's product placement was also the same way, with slow motion. Because it hits a big-ass bus that says Victoria's Secret. Very subtle. Oh yeah, and Stanley Tucci, just sitting there on the roof, drinking some Chinese drink, with the logo right in the camera, and he's just drinking away. Looking like a doofus. Oh, sweet! My hometown. I mean my home country. This is scored one to one. It's gotta be good. 
But anyway, what was they talking about? Oh yeah, the Chinese drink, whatever that is. But yeah, Gucci made a product placement. Of course, BMWs. Uh, that's all I can think of right now. By the way, Optimus Prime actually kills a human being in this. Which is shocking for us who grew up watching the Transformers cartoon and movies. Optimus Prime never ever wanted to kill humans. This one he kills Kelsey Grammer in the end. Which is kind of shocking for us. Sort of like Man of Steel where Superman fucking breaks his odds and neck. So we're gonna have a whole new generation of kids thinking that Optimus Prime kills human beings. God damn, that's kind of fucked up. But I can understand why you would kill, because it's been three to four years. No, three years since the Battle of Chicago from the last movie. So he's been hunted down. And all the other Autobots have been hunted down, so he's kind of gone off the edge. I can see why he's done it, but still, come on, it's Optimus Prime. He killed a motherfucker. We have Galatron slash Megatron. Even though the humans called him Galvatron, yet he comes back and calls himself Megatron. Which I'm not sure, because I haven't seen the cartoon in a, quite a long time, the movie cartoon. But wasn't Galvatron a completely different set being than Megatron? Because Megatron got killed, and then Unicron remade him into Galvatron, and had a different voice and personality. I'm pretty sure he was a different person. But in this movie, Megatron is the same person, but he's called Galvatron, but he still calls himself Megatron. I don't know. You figure it out. The Dinobots in this movie are not named by name, except for the end, where one of them is named Spike, but one of the Autobots. But you know the giant T-Rex robot is basically Grimlock. But they have no personality. They don't talk. They're dumbed-down prehistoric beings with the size of a peanut of a brain. And yet, Optimus Prime fights Grimlock in a battle to get him to trust him. And the other Dinobots are just off in the side, just watching this. Not doing anything. Watching Grimlock get his ass kicked. You would think that they would go in there and help him out. But no, they're just standing there like idiots. And then Grimlock is on Optimus Prime's side. Oh, what really is scary is at the end when they finally help the Autobots. And then the Dinobots just fuck off and run away. They're free. Excuse me. The prehistoric beings who have no brains. You saw how long it took them to get on the side of Optimus Prime. Now they're off in the world, not knowing what the fuck they're doing, with no brain, probably killing motherfuckers. There's giant ass robot dinosaurs running around amok. Yeah, I find that disturbing. Seriously, look at the ending. Optimus Prime wins. And so the, the Autobots win, and then they thank the uh, Dinobots. And literally, they just run off. Oh my god, people are gonna die. Not like people haven't died, because a lot of people died in this movie, especially in China, Hong Kong, Japan, whatever they were. People died. You know they died. No one can survive that shit. Except the main stars of the movie, who uh, probably would have died like 20 different times in this movie, but no, they just get scratches. When did Optimus Prime get rocket boosters in the end? They just came out of nowhere. He go gets a new form. And then at the very end, he gets rocket boosters. Did he get it during when he was getting the new form, or did he find it somewhere? What the hell? Does it make sense? Because of course it's Michael Bay. The main villain of the movie, Lockdown, is pretty badass. Of course, Megatron just plays a side villain, but it's all about Lockjaw in this movie. So Lockup is hunting down the Autobots for some reason, because he never really explains it and doesn't explain who the creators are, leaving a big plot line. Well, basically the whole movie is kind of a plot line disaster. Did I say plot line? I'm in plot hole. Come on. Almost scored. 
the new Autobots in this movie, the only name I got is basically John Goodman's character, which is Hound. And then you got a Samurai Ninja Autobot and some green motherfucker. I'm pretty sure they never got their names, but they're just there. And Bumblebee is, of course, there, still talking through the goddamn radio, which I still understand since in the first one, his voice got fixed. And then in the other movies, he's talking in radio once more. Oh yeah, and Ratchet died. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Ratchet just died. Also, Kelsey Grammer's in this movie. I didn't realize it was Kelsey Grammer until the, like, the last certain minutes of the movie. Because Kelsey Grammer got way older. His voice got deeper and wasn't British enough. Because he actually had an American accent. So it took me a while to finally realize who he was. So that's my review for Transformers 4. I liked it. I found it decent. Better than the last one. That's pretty much it. I say go watch it just for funs. And of course, it's Optimus Prime riding a big ass fucking to robot T Rex into battle. What else can you want? That's it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak out. Bye!